Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today is Labor Day, and thank God, Puff Vapors were open today, so I can pick up the Magoo. Um, I saw this at Vapor Bombs yesterday, and I've had my eye on this for about a couple of weeks, and I'm glad that Scott, from uh, the owner of Puff, picked it up. A uh, pretty good quantity of it, so today I was. I was hunting for it and so I bought it. Um, it looks really good on the King. Um, let's go and lock that real quick. So here's the box that it came in with. It came with uh, uh, the stock coil um, was 2.5 ohms and also the uh, replacement um, wire and wick. This the the non rest and uh, it looks like 32 gauge fused is uh, 2.5. Um, came in this little box right here and it's pretty nice. Instructions of the parts when it's all broken down to pieces. So, my first initial use on this one. I wasn't too happy, um, just the fact that I put on a king and I'm at 4.2 volts at 2.5. takes a little while to heat up and get a good vapor production, but the taste was great. Um, I know it's not a K-Fun, but you know, the this kind of Addy, it's, you know, it's a lot better than... Um, Personally, I think it's a lot better than um, some of the Genesis style atomizer that I've used, like the RSSD, which pretty much I can build it with, um, you know, with any wire. Twenty, I've done it with 22, 26, 28, 30, 32, and kept it around 0.9 ohms, uh, uh, a low uh, one ohm. But this one, I wasn't satisfied with 2.5 with the stock coil. So I rebuilt, uh, rebuilt it. Um, I got some wire uh, non-rest from a friend of mine, Dakin Scott. Thank you for the non-rest. Man, without you, I would have been stuck with a, with a stock setup. So I went ahead and did it. Um, the only work was literally just getting the right length of the canthal, the A1 canthal which is a 30 gauge uh, and of about an inch and a quarter to get 1.3 and about two inches of non rest for uh, two pieces on both sides and I just did a you know the good old, the old old way of doing it because I don't have a zapper uh, so twisted it pulled it back and then coiled it and that was it so I ended up with a with a coil I mean a, a wire about yay, uh, yay long so um, Oh, for the the way I uh, found out how much wire I needed, so I took a, I took apart my Igo W, grabbed a uh, a piece of the wire, just put on the post, put on an O meter, till I get till I got 1.2, then cut it, took that out, measured it, and then cut an actual wire for it with the same gauge, and I think that's the best way of. Uh, you know DIY without a zapper or you know I think that's the best way to find out how much wire you need of resistant wire to get to what you want so that's just a, a piece of advice of how to gauge it you know how long you want it 32 you're probably gonna end up with two and a half inches but with 30 uh, about an inch and a quarter and an inch and a half so here it is it's on the king it looks fucking beautiful as hell I actually have a 12 milligram nick in this. This is Astro by um, Space Jams. Throat hit was great. Um, vapor production's there. I like it. It's you know it's a casual vape. It's not a plumer. Uh, I know you guys are are used to seeing me with um, with a dripping atomizer and blowing big fat clouds and whatnot. But this is perfect. Um, lately, I've been chasing Genesis style atomizers and and you know it's either this or an Ithaca. Ithaca is like 230 bucks. I'd rather pay 65 dollars for this one. So here comes the vapor production. I 
I have been uh, chain vaping on this. Not a flood. Works well. Three millimeter silica, two strands. Roll it, uh, coil it three, um, three, four wrap. And the um, the the, the link side is going to be over the the wick. And I'll show you guys on that uh, on the build video so you guys can see what I did. The air draw is pretty good, even though there's an adjustable. I think I'm gonna drill this out, this one out a little bit bigger, get a little bit more airy uh, hits. Or right now the restriction on this is perfect, just like the K Fun light. Other than that, guys, um, it's definitely a winner. As you can see, it looks fucking gorgeous with a um, with a king beta nine everything is nice and polished aluminum I mean uh, stainless steel can't go wrong with that it's quite heavy now um, kinda of scared of you know putting it on the table without locking it since we just added 50 pounds on top of the, the king other than that guys um, that's it man and um, I'll post a, a build video so if you guys do decide to pick it up, Scott at Puff Vapor still got a handful of these um, for the price of sixty bucks, sixty dollars. It's well worth it, you know, to have a nice rebuildable atomizer, and you know, just pick up some. Uh, and he also carries the the non-res wires. Uh, I think he's got twenty-eight. Uh, with twenty-eight, it's going to be a little tricky. Probably a two-three wrap, um, or even actually, it's going to be a four-five wrap to get about 0.9 to uh, 1 ohm uh, yeah so stay tuned for the build video and I'll keep you guys up to date peace